to create makeup videos so today I created this anti Valentine's Day look I myself I do have a boyfriend and I am going to be spending Valentine's Day with him so this isn't really created you know for me but I thought that I would create a look for you guys if you wanted to do a dark dramatic smoky eye and you just wanted to be opposed to everything Valentine's Day and don't get me wrong before I had a boyfriend I totally was like that so I used this new Urban Decay shadow box to create this look and I have like a little mini review for it at the end of the video so stick around if you want to see my final thoughts on it. I really really love the way that this makeup came out. I actually was really shocked because I typically never do dark smoky eyes or dark makeup at all. So yeah, this is what I came up with. I hope that you guys enjoy the look. If you're interested in seeing any of my future videos, then you can also subscribe. There will be a little white box in the corner of this video. You could just click and roll over that and subscribe that way. Or down below underneath this video, it will be there. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you at the end. Okay, so I've already applied a primer. I forgot that I wanted to do my eyeshadow first, so unfortunately I did apply the primer already. But I'm just going to continue with the eyeshadow first, and then if anything I'll just do like maybe my Smashbox photo finish primer or something on top. But I did just try out this Honest Beauty like Luminous Primer, I think it's called. It has like a really weird smell. Well, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm sorry if I seem my I'm just priming my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know that this is my every single eyeshadow look primer. I would rather be at home. First, just gonna take this Maybelline single, and this is in the shade Wani Linen, and it's just one of the brand new Expert Wear shadows. Boyfriend, so you can go back. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer for the actual eye look. So, um, Alright, now that we're all up close and personal, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay the Nocturnal Shadow Box. I was super duper inspired by this to create like an anti-Valentine's Day look. I just feel like this box just, it just screams like anti something. I'm going to take this Sephora Pro Smoky Crease Brush and I'm just going to, I'm just going to tap into this shade right here called ABC Gum. And I'm going to start putting this in the crease. I'm just going to dip into my Naked palette. This is the Naked one, obviously. And I'm just going to take this shade right here called Naked, and I'm just going to apply that into my crease. This is just like a hair darker than the other color, which is what I feel like I need to create this transition color, because I am going to be going in with darker shadows. But this color seems to be working perfectly. And I can't wait so we can break apart the heat. Now I'm gonna take this shade called Riff. And I know it's like a glittery shimmer shade, but I'm just gonna apply this into my crease. Only the best in your intentions aren't to bother me, but honestly, I'd rather be somewhere. I'm like immediately drawn to like these colors over here, like this fireball shade. Oh, I need so bad, but that reminds me of Valentine's Day, so like. Sorry. But I'm gonna take this shade called Delete. I'm just going to very lightly put that onto the lid of my eye. And I'm also going to blend it into the crease. And I'm just going to take that same blender brush, but I washed the product off of it. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edges out. But now I'm going to take that same shader brush that I used before. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to pack that on my lid. This is like a really duochrome green shade. I like tested the shade out just to see like how it would look. And I was kind of obsessed. So this is why this is in my look today. 
Okay, I think I'm just going to move on to my face and then I'll come back and finish the eyes later because I'm not really sure what else I want to do with it yet. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and, and I'm just going to kind of like wipe all the crap off my face. This is like the most satisfying part for me when you remove the tape and see that like sharp line. I'm going to use this new Laura Geller Cover All Foundation and I have the shade Light. I really like this foundation because it's really full coverage. Which I feel like is kind of an anti-Valentine's Day idea because for Valentine's Day you want to look like super natural and pretty. But like for anti-Valentine's Day you can just like pack on that makeup, you know? Okay, and like I said, sticking with the full coverage, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. I promise you I will start using different concealers in my next couple videos, but I just feel like this concealer will just complete this look. So I probably look like a freak with this super dark eyeshadow and really light face, but I promise we're going to fix that with bronzer, contour, highlight, all that stuff. I'm going to try out this new product. This is from Honest Beauty, which is again what I use for the primer. This is just their Honest Beauty Blurring Perfection Powder. It says it's a translucent powder that blends into all skin tones. I'm just going to use it to set my under eyes because I like to use a darker powder everywhere else. So far so good. I mean it's nothing... It definitely is like blurring, has that blurring effect which is what it claims so that's good but it's nothing like too special I don't think. It looks pretty blurred over so I like it. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller Baked Bounce and Brighten Powder Foundation, and this is in the shade Light. <laughs> and for brows, I'm going to use Benefits Cabral in the shade 3, and I'm just using my Anastasia Brow Brush. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem uninterested. Bronzer today, I'm gonna take my Becca Multitask Powder, and this is in the shade Dark Golden. I ain't got no business here, but since my friends are here, I just came to kick it over. Really taking my Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and it looks a little beat up. Sorry, I tried to clean it, but I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Medium Contour, and I'm just using the brush that came with it. Yeah. Somewhere in the corner under clouds of marijuana with this boy who's hot been knocking And I'm just going to take Benefit's Dallas Blush and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. And I'm just going to take my Becca Jaclyn Hill Face Palette and my Eagle Tools Fan Brush and I'm just going to first apply the shade Prosecco Pop right here, and then I'm going to apply Champagne Pop on top. I love this combination. Just like Prosecco Pop by itself, or just Champagne Pop by itself, is like an amazing highlight. But when you add the two together, it's just like... Like you can literally die from it. It's just that perfect. <laughs> And it does, this lighting doesn't even do it justice. Like if only you could see this in person. So let's go back and finish the eyes. I'm kind of feeling this blue shade. So I think I'm just going to take this precision crease brush. This is a Morphe M139. I'm just going to go into this blue shade that I've made a dent in with my nail. Yay. This is the shade Heroin. Hero, like the woman hero, not the drug. And I'm just going to lightly put the color there. I'm not blending it out yet. I'm literally just packing the color there. Then I'm going to wipe that brush off. There's no shadow on it. And then I'm going to blend. Because I don't want to keep adding that blue color. So like, I don't want to make it even more dark going to dip back into the shade Heroin, and I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line. And I'm just going to go back in with this shade Delete really, really lightly, and just apply that right on top. I'm really sorry, I'm trying to change up my mascara, I just can't. 
So I'm going to take the Kylie lip liner in the shade Brown Sugar and just apply that to my lips. And now I'm just going to take this MAC lipstick in the shade Stone. I love this color. Hey, and this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As far as the foundation, I'm obsessed with the new Laura Geller one. It looks so good in person, like it looks photoshopped. I'm sorry if I keep looking down, I'm just making sure that I don't have lipstick on my teeth, by the way. As far as this eyeshadow palette, I have to say it's not my favorite from Urban Decay. I feel like their shadows don't, their newer shadows don't really live up to the naked hype. But as far as this look, I think it actually came out really, really nice. If there was one shadow in this palette that I would absolutely think that this palette is worth, I would say this green one. I don't know, I don't feel like it's a must have in your collection. If you're a collector like me and you just love having like every palette that hits the market, then it definitely is something that I could see myself using in the future when I want to create these like darker smoky looks. If I didn't make YouTube videos and I wasn't somebody who wanted inspiration for every look that I create, I probably would not have bought it. I think it was $29, so that's not terrible for an eyeshadow palette. But I do think that if you only want to buy palettes that you you know you're going to use on an everyday basis, I would say this is a pass. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the makeup look. I hope you guys are too. If you're looking forward to seeing more videos from me, then you can just click the subscribe button down below. And there will also be a little picture of me that will pop up right after this talking part. And you could just scroll over that and subscribe that way. I'll also have a link to my latest video pop up on the screen somewhere over here and um yeah I have links down below in the description of all my past tutorials and I have a ton of drugstore foundation reviews linked down below in my description box so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this look um I never do dark looks so this was really out of my comfort zone but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>